In this video, we'll create a typography logo in Adobe Photoshop. Let's get started. So first step is to set up the page. And now from the toolbar, select the text tool. And here write the text A, D, N. Take this one at the center. Now I'll change the font. So from here under character, you'll find the font option. Here I'll use the font ethnocentric. So this is a free font. You can download it from Google search. And after doing that, now we need to separate all the text here. So before doing that, do right click over the text layer and rasterize type. And now from here, take this marquee tool and select this alphabet. Do right click over this and layer via cut. So we separated one. Here you can see in the layer it is showing A, D only and is separated. Similarly, I'll select this one up to here and I'll do right click again and layer via cut. So here it is showing that could not make a new layer from the selection because the selected area is empty. Why it is showing that because we did not selected the uh, this original text and now do right click and layer via cut. Now we created three different layers from the same text and if you hide it, you can see all are hiding individually. That means all the text is separated. Now let's change the color for the text so that it can be easily visible for us and we can do work more nicely without getting any confusion. So let me select this middle text and take this paint bucket tool and from here go to color option choose different color and click over this now let me take this one towards left hand side using shift and arrow key on your keyboard And this one also I'll take towards left hand side. I'll extend the shape from here. So for that I'll take this rectangle tool and from here exactly I'll extend it up to this much I'll extend it. And I'll give the similar I'll give similar color like the black color here and I'll remove the outline. Now select this layer and do right click and rasterize layer. I'll take this one at the top, so I'll drag it and take it at the top. Now I'll take this one at the top. Now take rectangular tool and extend this up to here and fill this with color and remove this outline. Let's match up with this by using shift key you can drag it and match up like this. After doing that, now take pen tool and from here draw a shape up to here. 
and fill this with color remove the outline now select this one to right click over this and rasterize layer after doing that take this quick selection tool select the shape and now select the alphabet D so this layer is selected and now press delete key control D and delete this one take this pen tool and draw a shape by following this fill this with color remove the outline and bring this one here let me reduce the opacity so that we can see how much we are going to cut here now refill the opacity and now select this one and this one and rasterize both after doing that select it take this quick selection tool select it and now select this shape press delete key control D and now we created the gap so this portion you can delete it simply by taking this here is a tool and now here also we we need to make complete gap here so take this pen tool from here to here draw it you can extend it as well fill this with color remove the outline rasterize it let me reduce the opacity take this one here now do the quick selection select this one press delete key select this one press delete key control D and remove it and this one we we need to delete so take this eraser tool and simply delete it and now here also we need to make a gap so select this one do quick selection go to select modify and expand here give 14 okay and now select this press delete key select this press delete key Control D select this one take eraser tool and simply delete it and now remove this background select it to right click and merge layers now go to file open mockup and open the mockup file now double click here again double click 
and now drag our logo to this new tab of the mockup and leave it here you can drag it and make the size bigger place at the center mark it and mark the original mockup background and close the tab yes and wait for the mockup to be applied once it is applied here you, you can see the result hope you understand all the steps i did see you in next video